Welcome to the Time Value Software Preview of T Value Online, the new web based version of T Value Software. This video will focus on using the web version of T Value Software on a smartphone. We will use the Apple iPhone to demonstrate the software functionality. The smartphone version of T Value Online has been designed for use in the landscape position. To access the program, Simply tap your finger in the address bar of your iPhone web browser and type tvalueonline.com. When the Please Login dialog appears, tap in the email field and enter your email and password. Due to the reduced viewing area on your iPhone, you will be restricted from seeing the entire cash flow matrix. However, it is very easy to see the concealed information by swiping the schedule to any desired location. Before we begin our tour of T-Value Online on the iPhone, I will discuss the options of customizing the T-Value Online default settings. By clicking more, a drop-down will appear. Then, swipe the schedule up until you arrive at the end of the menu. The Compute Options, Input Setup, and Event Names Options enable the user to customize and save the T-Value Online default settings for use on any device. These time-saving features come in handy when performing repetitive calculations. To learn the specific details on customizing the default settings, view the companion video, Setting up T-Value Online for use in your business. To demonstrate the functionality and capabilities of using T-Value Online on a smartphone, we will structure a common lease. Now let's begin our tour by tapping in the compounding field. By tapping in the field, a spinner menu will be displayed. The spinner menu includes all of the compounding options found on a drop-down menu when using T-Value on a computer or the custom keyboard on a tablet. We will keep monthly for the compounding method. T-Value Online has been designed for the user to structure a schedule in the correct sequence by tapping the next button. By tapping next, the cursor moves on to the next field and a keyboard will be displayed. Each keyboard has been designed for the user to enter the required information. In the rate field, you can enter a number or an unknown value. Use the keyboard to type your interest rate. Then, tap next. In the label field, type the name of the schedule using the new keyboard now on display. Then, tap next. On line 1, select Lease for the event on the Spinner menu. Type the date, January 14, 2014. Let's pause for a moment in the Amount field. Notice that, the keyboard enables the user to enter a number, an unknown value, a multiple of the number entered in the Amount field. Tap K to multiply the number by 1000, H for 100,000. M for million, and B for billion. Let me demonstrate how this works. Type 200 in the amount field. Then tap K, and the 200 will be multiplied by 1000, with 200,000 now displayed as the amount. You can also enter a weighted unknown value. As we keep tapping the next button, the schedule will be assembled in the correct sequence. On line 3, adjust the spinner menu until you find the residual event option. Then tap Next. Once the schedule has been assembled and the unknown value calculated, you can view all of the least details by tapping the amortization button. To view the desired information on the amortization schedule, simply swipe the schedule up. When you need to see the entire schedule, tap the Print Ready PDF button. If you have a need to print the schedule, swipe to the left and tap the Print icon.
and close the tValue PDF by tapping Email PDF. You can send an email to your client and a copy to your inbox by tapping OK. Now, let's look at several features that allow you to customize the amortization schedule. By tapping the Include icon, you can select the information you would like displayed on the schedule. By tapping the Format icon, the Format dialog will allow you to adjust the layout, headers and footers, and to select different fonts. You can also remove the rounding message or truth in lending disclosures from the schedule by unchecking the Show on Report option by tapping the Save as Default button. This information is no longer displayed. Customizing your amortization report with the web version of T-Value software can be just that easy. Let's go back to the cash flow matrix. There are several additional features I would like to show you before we conclude. By tapping on the Special Series field on line 1, the Points and Fees dialog will appear where you can add any points, prepaid interest, or other fees associated with a loan that could affect the annual percentage rate or APR. By tapping in the special series field on line 2, the keyboard will display the special series options which contains all of the creative finance tools that are greatly valued in T-Value software. Also, you now have the ability to add any desired notes by tapping in the memo field. Lastly, by tapping the Document button, you can open or save your schedule to your T-Value Online account on the secure Amazon servers. To save this schedule, tap Save the T-Value Online account from the Document drop-down menu. When the Save T-Value Document to T-Value Online account dialog appears, you can select the location or folder where the schedule will be saved. You can rename the folders, add new folders, along with the ability to save or delete T-Value schedule. To save a schedule, just select a folder. Type the name of the document that you want to save. Then tap the Save button. And the T-Value document is now saved to your T-Value Online account. This concludes the instructional video on using T-Value Online on a smartphone. If you have any questions, you can contact us at jrobits at timevalue.com or call him at 1-800-426-4741, extension 217.